several times in each chapter we see how helpless krishna is we find weakness lording over strength exactly because it is weak shrimad bhagavad gita is an epic struggle and krishna is the struggler it 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 all tugs at your heart strings it's actually a song as much of melancholy as of wisdom that's the reason i love the gita within you which already knows is krishna thank you sir for the opportunity again so my question is basically to shed light on to the prostitution now like uh, this is the thing which is con- considered a taboo and a stigma in the society and the people really don't want to talk about it and acknowledge it but this is something jo chalta aa raha hai aur chalta jayega so like what should be the our like you said who 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 is the society we are the society so what should be our perspective towards it like is it really a taboo or is there some otherwise like some way out what are you talking of prostitution see when the goal of life is material pleasure then whatever gives you material pleasure will be obtained and material price will be paid for the material good how do you look at a human being if you look at a human being as a mere body because you look at yourself as a mere body because you do not give enough respect to your consciousness then why will you not purchase that body don't you see that prostitution is a direct result of lack of spirituality the more materialistic you are the more will be the tendency to buy a body in fact in several countries it is quite legal it is legal because they say well there are goods to be bought and sold the body too is a good and if somebody is selling it somebody is buying it what's the problem and from the place they are coming it is quite all right they are saying there is nothing called the consciousness we are just animals and animal is just the body the man is the body the woman is the body and the body wants to consume another body just keep it legal don't force yourself on the other body pay the price pay the price and in fact the prostitute has to pay taxes because she is earning some money so she pays the tax what is the body the body is the seat of consciousness and the consciousness is the only thing worth respecting when this is how you look at the body then only the body becomes sacred otherwise the body is just like anything else like shoes like clothes like a piece of scrap metal available to be bought and sold what is this this is this is this is just material like anything else right a lot of carbon here some hydrogen some nitrogen some oxygen that's what this body is correct and if you can buy carbon why can't you buy somebody's body tell me carbon and nitrogen are available in the market correct and this body too is a lot of carbon and nitrogen why can't you purchase a body the answer will be because the body is body is conscious conscious and therefore you cannot purchase the body otherwise the body is just carbon nitrogen hydrogen oxygen and a few minerals so it is consciousness that is special about the body you will treat the body with respect only when you respect consciousness but there are cultures and philosophies in which consciousness is not even acknowledged all that is acknowledged is iron and chlorine and carbon and oxygen things are acknowledged consciousness is not acknowledged 
Now, why is it surprising that prostitution is legal? The fellow says, I have many things. If I can sell my shoes and my car, why can't I sell my genitals? After all, I have to make a living. And the government agrees. Government says, fine, yes. Earn money this way and pay me the taxes. I'm okay. In fact, I'll use this object to even lure tourists. Something special is being sold in my country. Please come, and to, come as tourists and buy. Just as there is medical tourism, no? Just as you visit a place as a tourist to consume the sights and the sceneries. Similarly, you visit places to consume somebody's body. You have to look at problems in their entirety. You have to go to the place they emerge from. We are very embarrassed when it comes to the word prostitution. But what if the husband and wife look at each other as mere bodies? Why do you not embarrass them? How is it very different from prostitution? Please tell me. The boy comes to look at the girl and all he is doing is measuring up her body. How is that not prostitution? Tell me. Same from the woman's side. If the woman is just measuring up the man's body or the man's bank balance, how is that not prostitution? What is prostitution then? To look at a living being as merely a body, that is prostitution. A mother is very concerned about the baby. The body of the baby and only the body of the baby. How is this very different from what the prostitute is doing? The mother is not at all worried about, let's say, the consciousness of the baby, what is happening in the baby's mind. But she is very worried that the baby is well fed. Have you had food, baby? Are you warm, baby? Are you wearing the, the right kind of clothes, baby? All these things she is very particular about. But she has no idea of what is happening in the kid's interiors. In fact, she gives zero respect to what is happening in the kid's interiors. How is this very different from the place that gives birth to prostitution? Or a person looking at himself or herself as merely a body, standing for two hours in front of the mirror, doing makeup, how is this not prostitution? All right, you have no active buyers. All right, you are not accepting money to sell your body, but you are indeed looking at yourself as just the body. The moment you look at yourself as just the body, prostitution has started. That's why Vedanta is needed. To tell you again and again that the body is your fact but not your truth. That your truth is beyond the body. And if Vedanta is not there, all that you will have is prostitution in its myriad forms. Only one form is called prostitution officially. Other forms we give very respectable names. But those who really understand life, they know that the moment a body becomes something totally material, the moment a human being is reduced to his physical existence, it is prostitution irrespective of the glorifying name you give it.